Hello everyone and welcome back to CHETR channel. So today I will introduce you guys the part 3 of how to color eyes in Medibank and this time is semi-realistic eyes. Okay, so the semi-realistic eye will be a little bit different from anime eyes that you will have to draw a realistic eye. <laughs> yeah, that's the different. And of course, you will have used the painting style to color and draw it. So first, I will use the sketching here and I have a new brush here. Is it black flat brush? Yeah, you can download it in the cloud of the Medibank and how to download it, you can uh, find in my channel for that video I'll show you guys how to do it. Okay, so I here the I sketch the eyes of the eyes here and we are done. Now we lower the opacity of this layer sketch and put it on the top. So I will create a new layer, this is layer 2 for painting. I use the same flat brush here uh, to and choose the dark color to paint around the eyes here. That will be the skin eye. You better use the dark color first when you're painting because later when you put the, the uh, lighter color in, it will pop up and give you a bad feeling like this. You can see in the screen right now, you can see how construct it is. So our eyes is drowning. So that's why you must paint it and give it out a feeling that uh, is round and have some place that it, um, the light will reach it and give you a feeling that is shining and there some place will be hiding in uh, there will be a shadow it if the color looks a little bit dull you can change to the the color put it more saturation i use the hue and saturation bar to fix the color here okay so i use the flat brush here for painting and uh, to pick the color I just pick around the between the red and yellow nearly the orange here around it for the skin and now um, for the inside eye I'm using this to find the color I'm mixing that to find the color that I will draw inside the eyes and now I use the airbrush in here to draw a little bit slightly it and see how the 3D effect give you when you use the airbrush and here it will give the soft look yeah okay just put the inside later and now we will paint the skin outside so um, now I will use the dark color with flat brush to draw the, the eyelid so later, uh, based on that, I can paint it and find the mixed color of this. That's the reasons why I do this. In this step, you can see uh, you can use the watercolor brush. is the same as flat brush, both five. And now I will use the dark blue here. To draw the iris and then I will use the lighter color and draw inside it you can see that because I do it like this is we give you a dark ring outside yeah like this and then a pupil of course the same dark blue for the pupil now go back to the flat brush here and continue to recharge refine and uh, creating the peeling uh, shadow yeah do whatever you want to painting the skin to give you the realistic feeling and uh, don't my advice that you just don't scare of uh, the, the dark color yeah when I starting to, to uh, paint the realistic style here I always love to uh, blending it a lot and I love to use lighter color um, it will lead you to nowhere because 
without construct your feeling is not give the good result yeah so just use the flat brush here pick the dark color or the light color and then you use the watercolor wet here for blending to make it smooth you don't need to make it smooth all the way here just some part uh, that must look smooth depending on your style uh, some part just leave it be because you know that's panty style and that blue feeling is still good too for the gap between here I will use the flat brush to uh, pick the light color and then I use the watercolor to blend it okay it look uh, uh, fine now so I will go back to inside of the eyes and we choose the dark colors here use black brush and then use watercolor to blend it to make the shadow inside the eyes to make it have more feeling like it's pop out more because it's this is we drawing the eyes so that's why we must focus on the eyes and it's still done for me so that's why I pick the light color here use airbrush to draw around it look kinda okay now so I go back to the eyelash so I will use the flat brush here and choose the gray color uh, around it a little bit light and then uh, you see that inside the eyes here we have the waterline the pink uh, meat inside the eye here so uh, I choose the pink here and draw it a little bit here and then go back to the eyelash pick the dark one and pan around it now I turn off the sketch because I don't need it anymore you can see the result here we have the good look about our eyes here uh, so just now we just work in the layer 2 that's in the painting layer of the eyes and for the eyelash in here, uh, I recommend that you guys must use watercolor brush instead of this flat brush. Uh, why? Because this watercolor brush will give you the feeling that is is the pointing. So that's why it will be will give you the best result for drawing eyelash. So for the eyelash, you already see the, the part 2, right? Just don't really strict about this, just carefully draw it a little bit and a little bit. Make a curve line like this. And slowly draw it. Okay, now I will go inside the eyes in here. Um, sorry, I always switch between uh, outside and inside when I find something that does not give a good result. So I will create a shadow inside the eyes. You just imagine that the, the eye, the upper eyelid will give you the shadows in here. Yeah, like this. And then I use the airbrush, pick the lighter color with a lot of shadow rotations here to pan curve routing and lower like this you can see the effect on the screen right now yeah and now that's will be depend on your style you can do whatever you want just draw it like this So the last step is Richard make the skin smoother and put more light on it. 
Just switch between airbrush to make it sharp. Somewhere you want it look sharp, you can use the flat brush or watercolor brush here. And then uh, pick the light color for some place that you need to be more shining and glittering. Just that, spend your time carefully to put more details with, uh, with this guy. And then you are done the eyes. Have fun with that. So that is all about my video. Please subscribe for more eyes in future. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you next time.